Dr. Bernstein of Dr. Bernstein's Diabetes University. Uh, for this session, we're going to discuss a few visual aids that will help people with impaired vision. Uh, it's not only diabetics who may have impaired vision. It could be anybody, especially as you age. Uh, perhaps the most common cause of blindness in the United States today is age-related macular degeneration, which is a swelling of the area of the retina that involves the center of vision, called the macula. Uh, that's quite common. Uh, it's treatable uh, for some people, but not for everyone. There are two forms. One's called wet uh, macular degeneration. The other is dry. The wet one, which is more severe, is treatable with injections into the globe of the eye by an ophthalmologist. Um, uh, the diabetics can get many, many causes of visual impairment, uh, such as retinopathy, which involves a proliferation of very small leaky blood vessels that can hemorrhage in the eye. Um, there's macular edema, swelling of the macula, just caused by prolonged elevation of blood sugars. There are cataracts. Uh, there's glaucoma, and so on. Um, I, unfortunately, without any diabetic ocular complications, managed to get several of them uh, due to inappropriate treatments of other diseases that I had, um, one of which is common variable immune deficiency, where I have to get gamma globulin. And if you uh, give too much gamma globulin in a dose, you could increase the viscosity of the blood and cause uh, kidney damage and uh, glaucoma. Well, I didn't get the kidney damage, but I got the glaucoma and so on. So I've become an expert on visual aids. Now, I'm going to show you several visual aids that are very handy. The first one is called a dome magnifier. It's just a glass lens, but it has three light-emitting diodes in it, so it will light up when you press on the lens. Here it is. Here's what the diodes look like. And you put this against a page, and let's see what you get. You can see the magnification of the uh, text. So that's one option. Now, uh, how do you get one of these? You put into your search engine for your computer dome magnifier, comma, illuminated. And uh, you'll come up with just this thing. There are many suppliers of this, so you shouldn't have trouble finding it. Uh, the general uh, internet stores like Amazon all have these in their search engines. So if you don't want to find an independent supplier, you could go to Amazon and so on. That's the first dome magnifier. That was a five-power magnifier. It magnifies everything five-fold, five times. Here is a little six-power magnifier. It's smaller, but it's lighter weight, and um, uh, supposedly the battery lasts a long time. The first one used disk batteries. I've not opened this one up yet to see what size batteries it has. They're probably very small. This is what it looks like. We'll hold it. Uh, against an image and lo and behold magnifies sixfold. Uh, so again if you look for dome magnifiers uh, illuminated uh, you'll find the six power or you could be selective in your search. Uh, you could search for dome magnifiers uh, 6x illuminated Dome magnifiers, comma, 5x illuminated. Now, 
What else do we have? This is my favorite device of all. It's about half the size of an iPad, and it's a closed circuit. It's got a closed circuit TV camera in it. You start it by pushing this button. Uh, there's the battery status illustrated, and we can, it has a light built in when you turn it on. You can see the light on the rear of it. It's shining onto this book, and lo and behold, uh, you can see the title of the book. Now, by pushing a button, we can make the text larger or smaller. So, let's see, here's the plus button. I guess it's all the way up. For some reason or other, it's not working. <laughs> Minus, plus, ah, there we go. See? We've enlarged it. I'm going to go over smaller text. Uh, let's see what we got here. Let's look on the inside. Here we go. We're going to reduce the size of the text. See that? There's probably uh, a ratio of sizes from 3 to 1 magnification all the way up to 15 to 1 magnification. Here I'm enlarging it again. Now, not only do you get all of this magnification, but you can get different colors. For example, right now we're using real color. So uh, if we look at the uh, cover of the book, what do we see? Let's make this smaller. Um, you can see the color is not as rich as the original, but the, the red background is visible. Um, we can change from the original black on white to white on black and so on. Let's see what we get when I push this button here. Ah, here is an artificial black on white, not original color, but uh, a, a, a forced black on white. Um, let's see what we get next. Here is yellow on black. What else do we get? Here is yellow on blue. And here is the original uh, real color. We'll try this uh, on my hand. There's my hand. Okay, so uh, this is invaluable. It costs over $1,000. Uh, it's worth it if you can afford it. It's unbelievable. It helped me uh, in clinic looking at the interior of wounds, for example. So there, uh, or if you're pulling out a splinter or uh, so on and so forth. So it's uh, an it's the favorite of all my devices. There's one more device which we'll look at. Uh, I want to see what it's called. Oh, uh, I didn't tell you the name of this device. Uh, it's called Op. Wait, I <laughs> Optelec. O P T E L E C is the name of the company. <clears throat> and the name of the instrument is Compact 7 HD, Henry Dog. Compact 7 HD by Optelic. And here you see the names. Uh, so you can search for this on the internet and uh, you'll find it. On the subject, of closed-circuit TV devices like the Optelec, 
There's a whole spectrum of these devices, including much larger ones. For example, my mother, who was not diabetic, had age-related macular degeneration, and Medicare paid for a TV screen, which she sat on a table in front of her, and a reading device that consisted of a stand plus a small closed-circuit TV camera that pointed down on the page of the book. It was you, you set it up, and it, it's in fixed position, and you turn the pages of the book underneath this little camera. The camera may be up about here and the book down here, and you see the images on a big screen. Uh, and there are a host of these things available, so uh, what you would search for would be uh, closed circuit TV or CCTV magnifying aids or CCTV visual aids. And there are many, many of these things. And as I said, uh, many of these things are paid for by Medicare. And some might be paid for by other insurance if you qualify as being legally blind. Um, now, we have magical eyeglasses. Uh, these eyeglasses have three power magnifiers, but they have lights. That um, so uh, many people with impaired vision, especially if they're using magnification, need extra illumination, just like in the uh, two dome magnifiers. Well, these are eyeglasses with built-in lights, and you could look at a piece of paper and find it magnified threefold. So the fine print on this printout of the name of the eyeglasses. Uh, these illuminated eyeglasses are sold by a company called lowvisionreaders.com. So you can buy on the internet lowvisionreaders.com. I believe they cost uh, around $100, but I'm not sure. Uh, you could look them up and get the price right away. Uh, anyway, these can be of great value to many, many people. Uh, good luck with them. Please uh, keep watching uh, our diabetes, Dr. Bernstein's Diabetes University. Thank you. The bulk of what you've heard on this video uh, appears in my book, Dr. Bernstein's Diabetes Solution, which is available at uh, most internet and local bookstores. It is published by the Hachette Book Group. I'd like to remind you that we have monthly free teleseminars every month at the site AskDrBernstein.net. Doctor is spelt D-R, so AskDrBernstein.net for a free monthly teleseminar. Uh, sign up a day or two in advance so that you get a reserved seat. Good luck and thanks for listening.